So after playing around with some 3D software um, and realizing that the azimuth or equidistant map, which is the commonly used flat earth map, and the globe, like all the globes that we see and all, most of the images of earth that we see are both derived from the Mercator map. So here's how they both work. And that got me thinking. All these differences we've been noticing in NASA's representation of the Earth that they've given us recently, it makes you wonder how they fucked it up. Like the technology, this 3D technology has been around for a long time and they would have been able to do it without the graphic projection just using straight maths since the 60s, no doubt. So this 2012 globe sticks out like dog's balls and also in 2012 you had the Felix Baumgartner jump which as we all know is shot with a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens, causing the horizon to curve to a ridiculous degree. So again that sticks out like dog's balls. Also in 2012 you had NASA releasing this grail footage of the moon which quite frankly is terrible like it's pretty bad you got to admit so yeah what's up with that and how come it took us this long to figure it out <laughs> 